guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mrs. Vuiten Beentje. Today's video is going to be my third piece. My third piece. My third piece of my fall uh, fashion mood board. Now, as you can remember, in my fall fashion mood board, which is an eye that I'm going to insert there if you haven't seen it. I mentioned that I wanted to make the Ma Magana, Magana French sweatshirt. However, it is an old pattern and it has already been discontinued by the name um, company. I did contact them and they were so kind to explain that it was discontinued and gave suggestions uh, to one of the patterns that are from them and one of them that is from another company, which was awesome. So I decided to go for the Sloan sweatshirt and it is described as a loose fitted sweatshirt with long bust darts, high hip length, uh, full, full length sleeve, ripped cuffs and neck and hem. Now, what did I do? Okay, I used, I needed to buy one meter 25 in terms of fabric i did purchase that however later on i decided to combine um, the french terry that i already got for this and then a punto milano that i had leftovers from i must say that the instructions are pretty clear this is the first time i've ever um, made a pattern from them their sizes run from 32 up to 50 there are six pattern pieces. So you got the front, which is cut on the fold. You got the back, which is cut on the fold. You got the sleeves uh, on the self side. You got the neck band on the fold, the cuffs on the, on the self side, and the hem band on the fold. I thoroughly enjoyed this pattern and I'm definitely going to check out another pattern from them. So this is my this is my sweat shirt. This is the color that I end up choosing. Let me show you the inside. Because I got my um overlocker. Okay, so the inside these these are the cuffs, so I did finish it with the overlocker. Of course, this is my first item, so there is definitely going to be mistakes. Um, the sleeves. The sleeve is something that um, they have the easy way of setting in the sleeve. So it's uh, putting in the sleeve. So it's actually um, doing the shoulder seam first. And then you open it up. You match the notches and put the sleeve. And then you sew from let's say the cuff all the way down to the hem okay the darts the darts are in the front the bust darts as you can see they are quite long and the neck band right there and the hem is right there all right you guys this is how i decided to start it so this is my sloan sweater i kind of played with the sleeves so i put the print in the front and then a unicolor in the back and here I put the unicolor in the front and the print in the back kind of like I wanted to do the unicolors on both sides in the front and then the print in the back but it kind of didn't go as planned but I like it this way too I did the waistband the unicolor which is a fabric Punto, Punto uh, de Milano and then this uh, sweater like I mentioned before is a French terry but it's kind of on the thin side and because the natural light is kind of fading and this is pretty bright I want to go in a little more so you guys can see try not to bust my tail but okay so I styled it with a light gray leather skirt that I made a while back and I'm definitely going to make a video about it because it is, uh, I cloned a skirt that I already had. Okay, so, and I styled it with these suede uh, booties that are, I have them a long time. And that's 
it you guys as always i enjoy making this video i hope you enjoy watching don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey and have a great great day bye